consistency is key. Is the world starting to open again? And Tom Brady, always in the headlines for something. Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Hello there and welcome to a Tuesday. It is April 21st, 2020, day 219 of Gotta Get On Allen and day 9 of Hashtag Hopefulist Challenge 30 Days to Feeling Better. Today is not the day I'm going to be feeling better. A heavy storm in the forecast. They're talking severe winds. They're talking pounding rain. They're talking potential hail. Oh, fun. Can't wait. It's going to be later this afternoon. They're saying it's going to be quick. It's going to be in and out. I don't know. We've been having some nasty storms lately. I don't remember. I mean, I remember in the spring's past, the storms being quite like this. But uh, Tucker and I will hunker down and we will power through because that's what we've done through the last two storms. It looks like Joe's going to be following the storm home from work. So I don't know if that means he's going to be right behind it or if he'll catch up to it at some point. Here's hoping he has a nice, safe ride home from work. Looks like some states are starting to make moves to reopen. Georgia is allowing people to return to the gym, get haircuts and your nails done starting on Friday. And then come Monday, restaurants and movie theaters will be opening. We will be watching. Tennessee, South Carolina also looking to relax their restrictions as well. Uh, Some of these people are still having some uh, pretty big uh, hot spots. So we'll see how everything goes. I don't know how quickly everybody's going to go rushing back. I think some people will, and I think a lot more people will stay at home and watch for a little while. It's just my gut feeling. I do know that the ladies would love to get their hair done. So that is one place they might take a chance. We'll see. Because these places are going to be packed. And going to get your hair done? I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people there. A lot of people are in desperate need of getting their nails done. <laughs> desperate need. I have always done my fingernails myself. I've been blessed with Pretty decent nails. I usually credit that with biting my nails until I was about 15 years old. And, I mean, severe biting my nails. I mean, they would bleed, and it was just, it was awful. And once I finally kicked that habit, I was rewarded with very strong, uh, and in my opinion, very lovely-looking nails. So I don't really put anything on them. Uh, That's why I never really got into the gel manicures, because as much as they try to tell you it's not damaging to your natural nail, yeah, they lie. It is damaging to your natural nail. If you put anything aside from nail polish on top of the surface of your nail, it will not allow it to breathe as it should, and it weakens it. So just something to keep in mind. So I've always done my fingernails myself. Uh, I do not do my toenails. I know I talked about this a little bit yesterday, and I do still have to go back and do another coat there on the little toesies. I think they look fine. I just miss I just miss my, you know, getting the actual pedicure, having somebody else do them for me, just sitting there in my massage chair, getting the foot massage. Yeah, that's the stuff. Love it. So we'll be watching Georgia, Tennessee, and South Carolina as they start 
to reopen and relax their restrictions. Uh, New Jersey, don't think they've really given a timeline. I do think that Pennsylvania has uh, now extended their stay at home to at least May 8th. It's only the 21st of April, so that's still uh, two weeks away, over two weeks away. So uh, we are all watching to see how this goes to the people who, the states who are looking to experiment with this a little bit. Tom Brady in the news, as always, seems he got himself in a little bit of trouble in the last couple of days. He was seen spotted working out at a park in Tampa Bay. This is, of course, where he is going to be playing uh, football uh, in this upcoming season. Hopefully the upcoming football season will go off without a hitch because we need something. Boy, oh boy, do we need something. But apparently he decided he was going to go out and do a workout in the park, and the park was closed. All the parks in Florida uh, are currently closed. I do believe they started opening some beaches over the weekend. And now there's a lot of uh, controversy over some of the pictures they are posting. Some are claiming that there are stock photos being posted of the beaches being overrun with people. And that's just not an accurate portrayal of what's happening. I don't know if they're stock photos or not. I'm not getting into it. You know, people just love to argue about anything and everything, don't they? It's crazy. So Tom Brady was cited. He wasn't just given a warning. I I believe he was written a ticket uh, for breaking the law. So, Tom, I'm sorry, man. You are not above the law. You must do your workout. I mean, come on. Does he not have a backyard that's big enough to do his workouts? He must. And if he does it, he needs a better realtor. I'm pretty sure he can afford a house that has a nice, big, huge yard. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with people. So, there you go, Tom. You are not above the law. I hate to be the one to tell you that. I'm sure you're listening right now and saying, you're right, Wendy. You are right. On to today's topic. I was wondering, I was wondering about three words that you could tell me that would describe yourself. I chose the words ambitious, fun, and loud. Man, I am loud sometimes. Um... I put a little more thought into it, and I thought, you know, probably a great word for me would have been honest. Because I am honest to a fault. I mean, to a fault. Like, I consider it a detriment. I cannot lie to save my life, and there is nothing that irks me more than people lying, especially right to my face. So I probably should have went with honest, maybe instead of fun or loud. I think ambitious is a pretty good word to describe me. I've always been very ambitious. Now, some of the other words that I had gotten from you, Jim says talkative and obsessive compulsive. Adele says double beagle mom. Got two, two beagles in case you didn't figure that out, which I'm sure you did. Michelle says loyal, determined, loving. Denise says fun, loving gal. Kate says, loyal, loving, friendly. John says, daring, dedicated, hilarious. I like that, John. Be confident in what you are. Andrew says, islander, traveler, fun-loving. And Martin says, fun, likable, and handy. Handy is always good. We uh, have lots of repairs, uh, tiny little repairs that we need to do around the house. And... uh, Joe's getting better, but, you know, it's one of those things. It's a learning curve, you know? We had never really had a house before that we needed to do our own types of repairs. We used to call the landlord. Boy, was that great. Boy, do we miss that. (laughs) Miss calling the landlord. (laughs) But Joe is supposed to be opening the outside shower this weekend. When we were uh, searching on the Home Depot website, 
I had wanted to get some paint because we do need to paint the dock this spring. It is, uh, I had had the fantastic idea of painting the dock white two years ago. And man, did it look nice for a week. <laughs> now, the main reason I painted the, uh, the dock white, it had been gray before, is because it gets so hot. And Joe, uh, we had found these Adirondack chairs that we had purchased used from somebody, and he had repainted them. And he painted them white. And it was so astonishing to me how the white paint was cool to the touch. I mean, actually cool to the touch. So I said to him, let's paint the dock that color. That way I can, you know, because I'm really a barefoot girl. I love walking around barefoot. And I can't really do that when my feetsies are burning up on the dock in the deck. So we decided to paint it white. And it really does look nice. But man, does it get dirty fast. Get dirty so super fast. And now the paint, you know, we spent all this extra money on dock paint. Not just exterior paint, dock paint. Because it's supposed to be stronger and last longer. Well, we're not falling for that just hogwash again. No way, Jose. We're just buying regular exterior paint this time. And we'll see if there's a difference. Because it really needed to be painted last year. But we let it go because he hates doing it, for one. And it kind of does have a little bit of that shabby chic look, a little weathered look. It's okay. Not awful. It's really in style right now. People pay a lot of money to, to have somebody specifically make their house look that way. So we're just doing it naturally. That's all. So we'll see if the regular exterior paint uh, holds up. The same and or worse than the dock paint. I'm sure it won't hold up as well, but that's okay. Because if we're going to have to repaint every year anyway, might as well go with the the cheaper and easier to use paint. Am I right? I'm right. Thank you. I appreciate the backup. On to the blog post for today. We are on day nine. Of the Hopefulest Challenge, only 30 days to feeling better. And today we are talking about, all this week we are talking about you making the decision. Deciding. It is time. It is time to do what it takes to make myself and my life better. So once you make that decision, you need to be consistent with it. You have to show up when you are supposed to and do what you are meant to do. This is when it's important to remember why you are doing it. And sometimes doing it for others helps push you harder than when you just think about it for yourself. It's sad, but it's true. So if you're trying to get healthier, it is one of the reasons to be there for your children, to be strong and present as much as you can for as long as you can. Then remember them when you feel like bailing on your new routine. Do it for your loved ones. Posted a picture of me and Tucker on a boat. And I was holding her because as much as she loves boat rides, and she does love boat rides, this one got a little rocky, made her feel a little bit uneasy. So I was comforting her. And me, well, I've got a super case of boat hair. And I don't care. I just don't care. But this is when habits makes your new commitment to yourself a little easier. Come up with a new schedule around your new undertaking and keep to it. It will be hard at first. Make no mistake. Everything new is hard at first until it isn't, until it becomes a habit. And then it's as easy as brushing your teeth every morning. I don't know how my computer here. I don't know what happened to my computer here. Let's see, are we still recording? It appears that way. Um, sorry about that. My computer went black. I did not like that. So where was I? If you want to work out first thing every morning, then start today and commit to doing it every day with a pre-planned workout ready to go. It's the same with meditation or starting a new project or 
being more present for your kids. Set aside a time every day that you commit to them 